First off, yes, we're crazy and we get it. We just went to seven different countries in just a little over a week. And we're gonna show you how to do it too. This is the video for you if you want to get to every single country on the planet like we do. We'll map out how to check off country after country in just a few days. And we'll show you how to travel fast, travel smart, and how to save some serious money while doing it. Yes, you can spend just a day in a country or even just a few hours and still have a memorable experience. And we're gonna show you how in this episode of Window Seat. Are you like us, filled with wanderlust and desperate to travel to every single country on earth? We even downloaded this app called Ben so we can track each country we've been to and check off each new one the minute we touch down there. As of this moment, I've been to 76 countries. Jeremy's been to 71. And we're adding to that number by the month. We'll put a link in the app in the video description below if you want to keep track of yours too. The UN recognizes 197 countries on the planet. And if you want to get to all of them, you have some serious work cut out for you. That means you've got to find a way to knock out huge chunks of countries every year. We're talking 10 or 20 or even more if you can swing it. And we've figured out a way to do it because we've done it several times. A few years back, we rented a car in Croatia and knocked out all the Balkans in a little over a week. A quick, cheap, easy road trip that took us through Croatia, Slovenia, Austria, Slovakia, Hungary, Romania, Serbia, and Bosnia and Herzegovina. Eight countries in a little over a week. The beauty part? This is one of the cheapest regions in Europe, so the trip didn't even cost much. The car rental was cheap, the gas was cheap, the hotels were cheap, and the food was cheap. That's our first tip for crossing a bunch of international borders in a short amount of time. Choose countries that are clustered together. If you very carefully organize your travel plans and choose a spot on the globe where a bunch of smaller sized countries are lumped right together, you're gonna start checking off a lot of countries. Keep in mind, in some places like Europe, some countries are about the size of small US states. So you can drive through a few in a single day. We've used this trick all over Europe. And as a result, we've been to most of the countries on the continent. In fact, the Ben app says I've been to 41 countries in Europe. That's 87% of the continent, and we couldn't have done it without all of the precision planning. And it's not just Europe. Back in the spring, we knocked out half of the countries in South America in just a little over a week. There's no two ways about it. The place I want to see most on this trip is Machu Picchu. Do the hike, do the walk. You won't regret it. How did we do it? Lots and lots of planning, and we made every minute count. First, choose a flight with a long layover in the middle. For instance, we wanted to start our trip in Colombia, but we knew there was a great nonstop from Denver to Panama City, Panama. So we booked that red-eye flight, had our nine-hour layover in Panama City, and we were able to check off another country. If you're a science nerd, you're gonna love this place because it truly changed the world. And do all kinds of sightseeing during a long layover. Woo, they got it in here. So instead of a direct flight, we broke it up, added another country, and had some great memories along the way. Next tip, and this is a critical one, maybe the most critical choice you can make. Choose an international destination close to other international borders. This is awesome. Here. Yeah, this is awesome. I mean, so pumped we did this. Here's what we mean by that. We were able to knock out Brazil, Argentina, and Paraguay just by choosing to end up not in Rio or Sao Paulo, but in this place that's off the beaten path called Foz do Iguazu. It's blowing in your face like it's a rainstorm. It, it tastes kind of sweet, actually. You can taste the, I don't know what's in the water, but it tastes kind of sweet. Look, of course we would love to have seen Rio. Who wouldn't? And hopefully we'll get back down there someday. But we have a goal. We want to get to as many countries as possible. So we did some planning, and we knew if we flew into Foz do Iguazu, Brazil, that would be a huge bonus because it's situated right on the border with two other countries. And that means we could hire a tour guide to take us across the international border into Argentina, where not only would we get to check off another country, we'd get to see amazing views like this from one of the most amazing waterfalls in the world, Iguazu Falls. If you wanna learn more about this place, we have an entire video dedicated to it, and we'll put a link to that in the description below. 
And then the next day, we hired another tour guide to take us into Paraguay, where we spent the day in a town called Ciudad del Este. Do you think we can find something uniquely Paraguayan out here on the street? Now I know what you're gonna say. This is nuts. This is way too much travel. How can you possibly enjoy each destination? Well, it's easier than you think. Think about it like this. Tourists visiting America don't have to travel to New York, DC, the Grand Canyon, and Alaska to have a good time in the USA, do they? They can pick and choose a spot in the US and have a great time. So just like the mountain says, Viva el Peru. So can you when you're headed overseas. Find one location in a country and make some good memories there. And if that location is near an international border, that's a big, big bonus. Okay, next tip if you wanna see seven countries in about seven days. Make the most of your time. Fly late at night or very early in the morning. You gotta know going into a trip like this, you're just not gonna get a lot of sleep. That's the price you pay for trying to cover so much territory in so little time. If you're lucky, you'll get upgraded to business class like Jeremy did, that jerk. But how much did you pay for that again? I paid zilch. It was just, a tr somehow I logged on, picked that seat and it charged me nothing, so it was perfect. If you're unlucky, you'll be stuck back in coach like me and normal people. The business class sitting <laughs> jerk face and the rest of us peasants who have to squeeze into seats and hope that we don't have people leaning on us and you're just up there with your face mask and your essential oils and your massages and your free gift bags. I mean, come on. But regardless, if you fly late at night or early in the morning, you'll have all day to explore. For instance, we left Lima, Peru at 7 a.m. and got to Cusco, Peru by midday. That meant we had almost the entire day to explore. <laughs> this is crazy, buddy. Oh my God, look at this. And you'll be surprised by how much you can squeeze in in just a few hours. Now, just know these flights can be delayed and we had a number of flight changes in the weeks leading up to our trip, which often happens, so be flexible. Here's another tip, sleep in the airport. You'd be surprised by the sleeping options in some international airports and sleeping here maximizes your time elsewhere. For instance, look at the hotel inside the airport in Sao Paulo. How would you describe this room? Basic and essential. It's called the trip by window. It's in Terminal 3. You never have to leave the airport. So if you have an early morning flight, you can sleep literally just a few hundred yards from your plane, instead of getting up early at a downtown hotel, trying to find an Uber, and worrying about missing your flight. Similar deal in Lima, Peru. We got to town very late at night and booked a hotel basically in the parking lot, just 20 meters from the main terminal. We had an overnight layover here and by getting a hotel at the airport, we had the comfort of knowing that even after catching a ride into the city and checking out the sites, we wouldn't have to wake up extra early in the morning and find a ride to the airport. We were already there. Here's another tip for saving time and money, and so you can squeeze another country into your trip. Eat and shower at the airport lounge. If you're like the millions of other travelers who have a travel credit card like Chase Sapphire or Amex Platinum, take advantage of these lounges. Instead of paying for a meal at a pricey airport restaurant, you can eat for free. And if you're taking lots of red eyes in your quest to visit lots of countries, you can even take a shower in some, or even sleep in others. This is a perk you should be taking advantage of. God knows everyone else is. One other suggestion if you're trying to knock out a bunch of countries all at the same time. Make sure you know the entry rules for each country. For instance, we avoided some countries where they required visas. And thankfully, Brazil changed the requirements for visas for Americans right before our trip. So do lots of homework and research before you go. Lastly, check the local transportation system before going. Not everywhere has trains or public transport from the airport, and we know taxis can be problematic in places and some don't even have Uber. When that's the case, you can arrange rides from the airport very easily. It often maximizes your time and doesn't cost any more than a cab would. Plus, the peace of mind knowing someone is there to pick you up is huge. So to recap, by following these rules, picking a close cluster of countries, flying overnight, scheduling layovers long enough to do some sightseeing, sleeping in or near the airport, eating in airport lounges, scheduling your trip down to the minute and arranging rides, 
we were able to visit these seven countries in about a week. It was a lot, but we did it. Look, we know this isn't for everyone. Traveling like this doesn't always feel like a vacation. It can sometimes feel like work. But if you want to visit every country on the planet, this is the way to get it done. We'll post our exact itinerary in the video description below, so you know how we managed to get this trip done. If you have any specific questions about how we did it or suggestions on how to do it better, let us know in the comments. And be sure to like and share this video so we can spread the word for those who are counting countries. And we have a huge favor to ask. Can you please hit subscribe so you can follow our journey as we travel to every country on the planet? We're back with a brand new episode next Friday. In the meantime, be sure to check out one of these other videos from Window Seat. Oh, 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 oh,